Caffeine comes from two primary sources. One would be chemical synthesis, which is the majority of caffeine. The other would be from the decaffeination process of coffee. What is left over on the side is caffeine. Caffeine actually was one of those unique sports nutrition ingredients that's also available as an over-the-counter drug in the FDA drug monograph. And for that use, it's been used for a long time and improved to enhance alertness, to improve cognitive function or mental function, and improve endurance. So if you think about that, it could be a perfect pre-workout ingredient or supplement to take before training to increase your state of alertness, to increase perhaps your motivation, and also to, to reduce your feelings of being fatigued before you start training and while you're training. And it has been shown to actually improve strength performance, but the best research is at improving endurance performance at intense endurance activities. When you're looking for a caffeine-containing sports performance supplement, make sure that it indicates exactly how much caffeine from all different sources is found in each tablet or capsule or if it's in a drink or a shot because the dosing can have a significant impact upon you feeling it or not or improving performance and also the downside of caffeine and that would be the adverse reactions of caffeine jitters, irritability, overstimulation which can actually reduce your workout performance. Caffeine has a pretty wide dosage range but it's important to stay in that sweet spot and that's three to six milligrams per kilogram of body weight or 1.4 to about 2.7 milligrams per pound of body weight. If you go below that, it likely won't work. If you go above that, or even in the higher range, some people may get overstimulated, and that can lead to reduced workout performance and a tough night of sleep or no sleep that night. What is often combined or stacked with is a wide variety of ingredients that are, have sometimes and often unknown interactions. So caffeine itself is a stimulant, and when you combine it with other ingredients that have a stimulant effect, you can get some side effects. So it's important to start slowly or with lower doses and work up. What's cool about caffeine from a pure source compared to caffeine when you take it in from coffee or tea is that even though your body absorbs the same amount, the potency of the caffeine from a pure source is higher or greater compared to that coming from coffee or tea.